Hey guys, what's up? It's How To Schooler or Jordan. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit you up with another Battlefield Hardline gameplay. If you enjoy that, I hope you do. Uh, well, that's good. But I am getting suggestions for uh, other games to play. Some people suggested uh, I do a Let's Play of The Evil Within, which I might do that. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> sounds scary as fuck, so that should be fun. Uh, I might do Mortal Kombat X, shit like that. So if you have any suggestions for that, drop a comment down there. And if you like this video at any time, you know, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. You know, help me out, man. If I get uh, 100 views, 100 subscribers, I'll do some milestone videos. That'll be pretty fucking hilarious because I'll probably uh, end up hurting myself in them or doing something extremely stupid. <laughs> so if you liked this, go follow me on social media as well. And I think I'm going to start doing Twitch live streams soon. So follow me there too. All the links will be in the description. Thanks, guys. Gotta hop right into this. Today I'm going to do some gay marriage talk. Well, I'm going to talk about gay marriage. And before I start, I do want to add a disclaimer. I myself am straight. I've had a girlfriend for two years. We're very happy together. And I, I do have friends that are homosexual. That's one reason I'm an avid supporter of it. And, you know, if you're not, uh, I, hope, <laughs> I hope you take away something from this video. I hope I don't offend you in any way. I hope you do still watch my video and enjoy it. And if you don't, that's okay. Like, honestly, if you give it the chance, it would really make my day. And if I could change your opinion, that'd be great. If not, that's fine, too. You have the right to be you. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right into it. One of the main arguments about this is the definition of marriage and the ideology behind it. Uh, <laughs> but, like, the modern definition is slowly changing. And so, like, words, the meaning of them change. And us as a society evolve, like, over the years. Like, back in the day, interracial marriage was a taboo. Like, until William Shatner, uh, he, I can't remember who he kissed, but he had the first interracial kiss on TV, and that was a big deal. And even that cheeriest commercial with the interracial couple, like, we've evolved, we've changed. Like, that's something that's changed. I think this is something that's changed, too. It's equal rights for everyone. And marriage is a civil right. It's a right that we are all entitled to as human beings. Even in, uh... In 1967, the Supreme Court declared unanimously in the case of Loving vs. Virginia that marriage is a civil right, and it's listed on the White House website as a civil right down there with uh, equal pay for women and fair cases for uh, minorities, I believe, which was, uh, yeah. So it's something that we as a society need to realize and accept. Like, it's something, we need to get a modernized view on this. Like, our country was founded on the principle of freedom. Like, that's our thing. Give me liberty or give me death. Rah! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> moving on from that. Uh, like, that's one of the things that our country was started on. And also, separation of church and state. That was another big thing. Like, why can't we get that through our heads? So, and some people say that uh, gay couples are less responsible, but in states like New Hampshire, a male can get married at 14 and a female can get married at 13 with special permission. Like, if that's not irresponsible, I don't know what is. Like, you really think they can start a family at 14? Like, they probably have to be pregnant or something, but do you really want them raising a child? Like, if you think a 14-year-old boy can raise a child better than a gay couple, like, <laughs> I feel sorry for you. There's no offense, but I just, I can't see how you think that. And there are dozens of other states that are like this. Like, Pennsylvania is 14 if you're pregnant. And there are dozens of states that are 16 and all that with permission. And several states like Georgia and Missouri are 15 years old. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> So I just, I don't think that that is right. And some argue that uh, they don't think gay people are right in the head, which I don't really understand. But that's something that they think, and I respect that opinion. But, like, yeah, there are crazy gay people, but there's also crazy white people, crazy black people. Like, there's probably some crazy fucking Bigfoot. Who fucking knows? But uh, what I'm trying to say is there's crazy people in every 
category. Like, they're all across the spectrum. There's always going to be, like, <laughs> whether you like it or not, a serial killer or a rapist or a child molester. They're out there. They're going to be out there. They're not, cons- like, restricted to one portion of a <laughs> one race or, you know what I mean. So, uh, many people argue through the fact that it's religiously shunned. Like, the, the punishment for it is harsh and everything. Which, before I even go into the parts of the Bible, Jesus said to love everyone equally. So, love them equally. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, the, uh, the sections of the Bible that talk about gay marriage are most people argue from the standpoint of Leviticus verses 1822 and 2013 when these are from the Old Testament and these people are also Christian and we I'm a Christian so I'm saying we we haven't followed the Old Testament since 49 AD when the council of Jerusalem decided not to just for simple reasons like the kosher diet uh, they didn't think circumcision was really required and all that sort of stuff. So that's why we have the New Testament. That's what we follow. And there's a passage in one of the uh, one of the ones that are used to argue this statement. There's a passage that also says you can have slaves as long as they're from neighboring countries. So does that mean I can have Canadian slaves? Are you okay with that? So yeah, if you're arguing from that, I guess you're technically a racist. <laughs> no offense. But you you know, bro, you're you're racist. But uh so also there's hundreds of rules that Christians break and they're so offended by gay marriage. Like, okay, then don't swear, like no fucks allowed for you, like <laughs> no. You can't jerk off and you know you do. Don't deny it, man. You you jerk you're jerking the jerkin. It's happening. It's whether you admit it or not, it's happening. Or if you're a girl, you know, that's not at all girls do that, but most guys do. And uh, che- I think this is despicable, but people cheat on their significant others. And that's something that's really frowned upon. And hell, if you want to follow the Old Testament so closely, I really fucking hope you're circumcised. Otherwise, you know, they hate you. <laughs> and I'm kidding. But, uh... And some people argue from the standpoint of procreation. They say that marriage... The point of it is to procreate and have children and all these things. And I don't want to sound harsh here because I do have family members who have gone through this. It's something that hits me close to heart and it it happens and it's so sad when it does. But infertile couples. If you're going to argue procreation, then you're also saying that infertile couples should not be able to marry because they cannot have children. Which is just wrong. Everyone should be able to get married. Like, if you love someone, why, if someone loves someone, why are you allowed to judge them? Love is love. From any viewpoint you look at it, whether you say it or not, or you don't see it, like, they love this person enough to want to get married to them and spend the rest of their life with them, and I find that beautiful. Like, it's just, love is something so special and so hard to find, and if you find it with someone of your same sex, why limit them? Like, it's just wrong to tell people that they can't enjoy that special feeling with someone else, that they connect with, that they want to be with forever and ever. It's just not right. And (laughs) that just... That hits me. I'm ahead in the clouds romantic, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. And, I mean, some people argue that they can't raise kids and everything and blah, blah, blah. But their, their kids, in general, score about 6% higher on tests, uh, according to the, uni- the <laughs> according to the University of Melbourne. So, uh, good parenting, you know, check. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, it also helps lower the rate of psychological disorders in gay people because if they can get married, you know, they have access to all these healthcare benefits and the copays are cheaper if they want, uh, like psychological help, uh, psychiatric help, like meditation or social support resources, and generally they're just, they're happier. And that's according to a study by UCLA 
It's won by the University of Massachusetts and the American Psychology Association, and a few others, actually. And their marriages are actually generally more stable than ours. They have an annual divorce rate. About 1.1% of them get divorced a year. And in straight couples, that is about 2%. So their marriages last longer and are generally more stable. That's not necessarily with everyone, but it is a statistic. <laughs> and uh, the thing that really gets me about this is the separation of church and state, which I think, like, that's one of the things our country is founded on. I just find it so ridiculous that people are going to not observe that rule, and they're going to say it's because of their religion and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they may not directly say it, but you can tell. Like, they'll say it's ethical reasons, but why is it unethical to be gay? It's, it's not, right? So, and even so many religions are starting to become more accepting. Like, if you accept Christ in your life, or I don't know about Muslims with this, but, you know, Allah, <laughs> and uh, maybe even Cthulhu. <laughs> but, uh, so we, we as, a, uh, as a country and society need to become more tolerant. And even Pope Francis said, that if they accept Jesus into their lives, who is he to judge? So, you know, who are you to judge? Like, you know, who the fuck are you, man? But, uh, yeah, I just honestly don't find it my place to say that they shouldn't. I don't think it's anyone's place. I think they should be able to decide for themselves. They're people, too. We're all humans. But, uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did it any time, you know, drop a... <laughs> Drop a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on the social medias, check out my Twitch because I'll be live streaming soon. Give me some suggestions, and uh, I honestly hope I change some opinions with this or strengthen yours if you support it, obviously. And uh, you know, if I didn't do anything and you still don't support gay marriage, well, thanks for watching it all the way. I really appreciate it. And you know, you, you watched the whole video, so there's nothing you can do about it now. There's about 13 minutes of your life but <laughs> so that's everything i'll have another video up soon probably tell another story i'll probably switch on back and forth you know just tell me what you want to see and uh i'll cater to your every whim <laughs> that's it uh keep on keeping on peace